What if the life you're living now isn't your first? You might be carrying memories, skills and experiences from past lives without even knowing it. The concept of past lives isn't just ancient philosophy, it's a key that could unlock the mysteries of your current existence. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of past life recall, exploring techniques that could help you access memories from your previous incarnations. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, understanding these methods might just change the way you view yourself and your place in the universe. Before we go into the techniques for unlocking past life memories, let's get clear on what we're talking about. Past lives or reincarnation is the belief that our souls experience multiple lifetimes in different bodies. This concept has been part of many cultures and spiritual traditions for thousands of years. From Hinduism and Buddhism to certain schools of Western thought, the idea that we live more than once has captivated human imagination for centuries. But it's not just about belief. Many people report experiences that suggest they've lived before, vivid memories of other times and places, unexplained skills or knowledge, or strong connections to certain cultures or historical periods. While science hasn't definitively proven the existence of past lives, researchers have documented countless cases of people, including young children, recalling detailed information about past lives that they couldn't have known through normal means. Now let's explore some intriguing methods that might help you tap into your own past life memories. 1. The Mirror of Time Technique Picture yourself standing in front of a full-length mirror, but this isn't just any mirror, it's a portal to your past lives. The Mirror of Time Technique is a powerful visualization exercise that can help you access memories from previous incarnations. Here's how it works. Find a quiet space where you won't be disturbed. Stand or sit comfortably in front of a mirror. Take a few deep breaths to center yourself. Now focus on your reflection, but instead of seeing your current self, imagine the mirror showing you images from your past lives. What do you see? Maybe you notice your face changing, morphing into different versions of yourself. Or perhaps you see scenes playing out behind your reflection, like a movie of your past experiences. Pay attention to any details that stand out, the clothes you're wearing, the surroundings, the people you interact with. This technique works by bypassing your conscious mind and tapping directly into your subconscious, where memories of past lives may be stored. By using the familiar image of your own reflection as a starting point, you create a bridge between your current self and your past selves. Many people who've tried this technique report surprising results. One practitioner described seeing herself as a young boy in ancient Egypt, complete with details about daily life in that era that she had no prior knowledge of. Another saw himself as a soldier in World War I, experiencing vivid emotions and sensations from that lifetime. Two, the quantum regression hypnosis. What if you could use the principles of quantum physics to access your past lives? That's the idea behind quantum regression hypnosis, a cutting edge technique that combines traditional hypnosis with concepts from quantum mechanics. This method is based on the theory that time isn't linear, but exists all at once in a quantum field. Under hypnosis, you can potentially access any point in this field, including your past lives. During a quantum regression hypnosis session, a trained practitioner guides you into a deep state of relaxation. Once you're in this receptive state, they'll lead you through a series of visualizations designed to help you tap into the quantum field of your past experiences. You might find yourself floating in a vast space, surrounded by countless shimmering threads. Each thread represents a different lifetime. As you focus on a particular thread, you begin to experience memories and sensations from that life. One client reported accessing a life as a 16th century Italian artist. She described in detail the process of mixing pigments and painting frescoes, techniques she had no knowledge of in her current life. Remarkably, when she later researched the information she had recalled under hypnosis, much of it turned out to be historically accurate. While this technique should be performed with a trained professional, you can experiment with a simplified version at home. Find a quiet place to relax, close your eyes, and imagine yourself surrounded by threads of light. See if you feel drawn to a particular thread and allow any images or sensations associated with it to surface in your mind. Three, the Akashic Records Meditation. 
Have you heard of the Akashic Records? In many spiritual traditions, they're described as a cosmic library containing the complete history of every soul, including all your past lives. The Akashic Records Meditation is a technique for accessing this universal database of information. To try this method, find a comfortable place to sit or lie down. Close your eyes and take several deep breaths, allowing yourself to relax completely. Imagine yourself standing in front of a massive library. This is no ordinary library. Its shelves stretch infinitely in all directions, filled with glowing books of every color. As you stand there, notice a librarian approaching you. This figure, who may appear differently to everyone, is your guide to the Akashic Records. Ask them to show you the book of your past lives. They might lead you to a specific shelf, or a book might float down to you of its own accord. Open the book. What do you see? The pages might contain words, images, or even moving scenes from your past lives. Take your time exploring the contents. Pay attention to any information that stands out to you. One person who regularly practices this meditation described finding a book that showed her a life as a healer in ancient Greece. She saw detailed images of the herbs and remedies she used and felt a deep connection to that lifetime's knowledge of natural medicine. Interestingly, in her current life she had always felt drawn to herbalism but had never studied it formally. 4. The Body Memory Scan your body might be holding onto memories from past lives without you even realizing it. The body memory scan is a technique that uses physical sensations as a gateway to past life recall. Start by lying down in a comfortable position. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to relax. Now slowly scan your body from head to toe, paying close attention to any areas that feel different. This could be tension, tingling, warmth, or any other unusual sensation. When you notice a sensation, focus on it. Ask yourself, what memory is this sensation connected to? Allow your mind to drift and see what images or impressions come up. These might be glimpses of past life experiences. For example, one person doing this exercise noticed a persistent ache in their left knee. As they focused on this sensation, they suddenly had a vivid impression of being a cavalryman in a medieval battle feeling the impact as their horse stumbled and fell. This past life memory helped explain their unexplained fear of horseback riding in their current life. The body memory scan is based on the idea that traumatic or significant experiences from past lives can leave imprints on our current physical body. By tuning into these bodily sensations, we can unlock the memories associated with them. 5. The Dream Incubation Method your dreams might be more than just nightly entertainment, they could be windows into your past lives. The dream incubation method is a technique for intentionally inducing dreams that reveal past life memories. Here's how it works. Before going to sleep, spend some time focusing on your intention to remember a past life. You might say to yourself, tonight I will dream about one of my past lives and remember it when I wake up. Place a notebook and pen next to your bed. As soon as you wake up before you even open your eyes, try to recall any dreams you had. Write down everything you remember, no matter how fragmented or strange it might seem. Over time, you might start noticing patterns or recurring themes in your dreams that could point to past life experiences. Pay particular attention to dreams that feel unusually vivid or that leave you with strong emotions upon waking. One person who used this method consistently for several weeks began dreaming repeatedly about life in a small fishing village. The dreams were incredibly detailed, including the smell of the sea air and the feel of rough rope on their hands. They later discovered that many of the details in their dreams matched historical accounts of life in coastal villages in 18th century New England. 6. The Artistic Expression Technique Sometimes words aren't enough to capture the essence of a past life memory. That's where the artistic expression technique comes in. This method uses creative activities as a means of accessing and expressing past life experiences. Choose an art form that appeals to you. It could be painting, drawing, sculpting, dancing, or even writing poetry. Set aside some time when you won't be disturbed. Before you begin, take a few moments to center yourself and set the intention to connect with your past lives. Then, let yourself create freely without judgment or expectation. Allow your subconscious mind to guide your movements or words. 
you might be surprised at what emerges. A woman who tried this technique with painting found herself creating a detailed landscape of a place she'd never seen before. The painting depicted a misty valley with ancient stone structures that she later identified as similar to Incan ruins. She felt a deep emotional connection to the scene, as if she had once called that place home. The artistic expression technique works by bypassing your logical mind and tapping directly into your intuition and subconscious memories. The act of creation becomes a form of meditation, allowing hidden knowledge to surface. 7. The Resonance Recognition Approach Have you ever felt an inexplicable connection to a particular time period, culture, or even a specific historical figure? This could be more than just casual interest. It might be a clue to one of your past lives. The Resonance Recognition Approach helps you explore these connections more deeply. Start by making a list of historical periods, cultures or figures that you feel strongly drawn to. For each one, write down what specifically fascinates you about it. Is it the music, the philosophy, the way of life? Next, immerse yourself in information about these topics. Read books, watch documentaries, listen to music from that time or culture. As you do this, pay close attention to your emotional reactions. Do certain facts or images provoke a strong response? Do you find that you somehow know information that you haven't actually learned in this lifetime. One man who used this technique realized he had an unusually strong connection to ancient Rome. As he studied Roman history, he found that he could easily understand complex political dynamics of the time, almost as if he had personal experience with them. He also discovered he could read Latin with surprising ease, despite never having studied it formally. The resonance recognition approach is based on the idea that we're naturally drawn to times and places where we've lived before. By consciously exploring these attractions, we can uncover details about our past lives and understand how they influence our current interests and abilities. This method can be particularly rewarding because it combines intellectual learning with intuitive recognition. It's not just about gathering information, but about recognizing what feels deeply familiar on a soul level. If you have made it this far, Comment down below with the word 100%. To confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video, for more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.